Someone once asked me, you know, how many amethyst crystals do you have? I have a lot of amethyst crystals, but I rarely get to show them the giant large amethyst crystals all together in one grouping. Each of these massive uh, amethyst crystals weigh between 1.5 and 3.7 pounds. Look at that jammy beauty right there. I love this one. This one I uh, gave, did a little cutting on and repolished some of the faces so you could see into it better. And it's got a lovely exposed phantom, but we'll talk about that in a second. But look at this guy. Liss is one of my favorites because he's so deep. Yeah, he was polished up, but the fact that this part is all crystallized with little tiny amethyst crystals going all the way up his little body is fantastic. Oh, so nice. Oh, I don't need my oily smudges on it. And then this fella is a very dark amethyst. But not only is he an amethyst, but he's also a citrine on top, that center part, a smoky and partially clear quartz in areas with an hydros in it. This is a Hallelujah Point Lodge Scepter Amethyst with a nice penetrator right through the middle of it. Oh, he's so, so gemmy. Look at this. That's what I love about him. Ah, uh, uh, look at that. Look how pretty he is. So gemmy. Oh, that is so freaking pretty. Oh, he's so pretty. Anyway, so yes, we got one, two, three, four, five giant amethyst pieces, unless you include my faded amethyst uh, geo chunk that's in the shop. This fella is the most recent one I got. Obviously, he's the 3.7 pound. He is definitely amethyst, but he is also amatrine. As you can tell by hints on his crystal faces here, he's got hints of yellow, natural yellow. Like we saw this guy is a natural um, Brazilian citrine. This guy is a amatrine cluster. Beautiful terminations. I actually worked to clean him up a little bit because he had a little bit of um, buildup and grime on him. Fantastic. And these are large, very large points in here. And you can see they're regrowing their bodies around them, kind of like this fella is, the scepter. But then when we move on, we see this little fella. This was my first large amethyst. And he is, of course, a nice phantom. And you can see all those little phantoms in there. A little bit of inclusions in there, his face was, uh, I bought this from a nice friend on my, online. Lovely, look at that, beautiful, beautiful, outstanding phantom in there. It's almost like he's free from, see all those little phantoms after him? Like a free formed phantom inside of himself. And that's why I want to talk about these amethysts, is because that's a free floating, well not free floating, but a more of a, um, releasable phantom like this guy does. You see, this amethyst has a phantom in him, but the phantom has been exposed. There is his smoky phantom. So you can see where he has broken off from his body from the inside. Now a phantom is, of course, as the crystal grows, it stops growing the solution. It Starts again, stops, starts, stops, and each time it starts, and each time it stops, it forms that phantom in it. Now, like I am telling you right now, phantoms can be exposed. The layer of phantoms can be exposed like this guy was, this smoky. And that is one reason that I actually we cut this guy, because the sides here, you can actually see that line of where the entire phantom is. Now what happens if the whole phantom top came right off, if I plucked this whole top off of it? 
Well, then it would become what's known as capped quartz. And capped quartz is basically a phantom, internal phantom that has been released from its internal prison and the top or bottom has come off, thus exposing its younger self. That's what I find cool about phantoms this is you're actually seeing a m millions of years earlier form of the amethyst itself and the later form. So it's like million of years formation here, million of years formation here, and so forth and so on. But yes, this guy's stunning too. I love this. I just, I just love the fact that this has amethyst, smoky, citrine, and hydros. It's a scepter. Oh my gosh, so much goodness in this fella. And it's just, this is the weirdest formation by far of any amethyst or smoke I've ever had because it's just like it's eating itself. It's like kind of like a rosebud or something. See there, it's just like flowering right out the middle. Yep, 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 folks. Beautiful. Fantastic. You can see in the body there. Oh, it's, it gives that nice glow of yellow and orange, and uh, yellow, orange, and purple and brown. I don't remember where the phantoms were. I think they were in this area, but I would have to um, highlight it with like a light backlighting and stuff. But this is really cool to me too because it's just a unique um, opportunity to have amitrine. Now this isn't a deep amitrine. I do have deep amitrine crystals that are deep purple and deep orange. Um, but to have, you know, a cluster this huge with just giant point sticking out of it and not like a, you know, an aligned geoid, um, geoid body like you see most gem shows and stuff is just amazing. Beautiful. Again, so there is my five biggest amethyst pieces. There is some history and some edu education, as people call it on Amethyst and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you join me next time for another great video as we explore the world of rocks, minerals, crystals, meteorites, fossils and more. Goodbye.